Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what the original cast and George Lucas thought of the Star Wars Holiday Special. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Greetings, Exalted Ones. Welcome to Star Wars Coffee, the only place on the internet that you need to stay up to date with all things Star Wars. We're talking the latest Star Wars news, leaks, and of course, as always, giving you my analysis. Channel memberships are now live, and for $1.99 a month, you can get exclusive videos from me weekly as we rewatch the entire Star Wars series together. We would be honored if you would join us. Thank you everyone for joining me here today. I wish all of you a Merry Christmas as that's what I celebrate, but happy holidays to whatever holiday you celebrate, as well as happy Life Day as it would be in the Star Wars galaxy. What we're gonna do in today's video is take a look at what the original trilogy cast thought of the Star Wars holiday special. First of all, let's give a little facts about the holiday special. It was viewed in 13 million homes on November 17th, 1978. This was also the first appearance ever of Boba Fett. This was considered canon until Disney bought Star Wars. Harrison Ford describes the whole experience as, quote, an embarrassment. Carrie Fisher wasn't any kinder calling it awful and not in a good way. Mark Hamill is the only one with a somewhat positive view on the holiday special. He says he knew it was a mistake from the start, but doesn't feel that they should be ashamed about it because it showed how fallible they were. George Lucas has adamantly refused to re-release or rebroadcast the special, forcing anyone who wants to watch it to seek out a bootleg. In fact, at a convention it's rumored that George Lucas once said how he would quote, love to track down each one of those bootleg copies and smash them with a sledgehammer. So not the kindest words from George Lucas about the holiday special. Back in 1987, at a Los Angeles Star Wars convention where George was, he mentioned, quote, I believe it will be released on videotape. I'm not sure if they're going to rerun it on television or not. That, though, was before Lucasfilm acquired all the rights to the special, which happened a couple years later, after 87. To Maxim in 2002, George said, That's one of those things that happen, and I just have to live with it. And then again in 2005, he said, quote, The special from 1978 really didn't have much to do with us. You know, I can't remember what network it was on, but it was a thing that they did. We kind of let them do it. It was done by... I can't even remember who the group was, but they were variety TV guys. We let them use the characters and stuff, and that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. But you learn from those experiences. George Lucas, clearly not a fan of the Star Wars Holiday Special, and I can't really blame him. If anybody has tried to go out and seek out the bootleg for that and watch it, it was definitely something. So this was one of the uh, debuted for that 13 million homes, but we gotta remember, this was the first Star Wars thing that came out since A New Hope. So this was while they were waiting for the sequel to come out in 1980. And all of the major cast members showed up, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher, and Mark did not look like the Luke we saw in A New Hope. He had just this really bizarre haircut. And the idea was that it was a variety special based on the concept of Han and Chewie traveling to Chewie's homeworld of Kashyyyk to celebrate Life Day, which is Wookiee equivalent of Christmas, which they also use Life Day in the Lego holiday special, which that one is funny and well worth the watch every year. This special is not received well by fans up at this point and George Lucas. So I think this is something that we all have seen at least once just to say that we've seen it, but uh, let me know what you guys think about George Lucas's pretty unkind comments to this as well as the rest of the cast members in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. 
Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.